Good morning, YouTube, Booktube. This is Johnny. I thought I'd make a video. It's been four or five days. I'm s sitting inside my study in the Hermit Hut. And I would thought I would show you this morning my new bookcase. Uh, I've gotten over the last several months two small bookcases. This is one over here. And then there's one I've shown you over there. That one I got recently. And I showed you that one. There's Jack Kerouac. There's my hat. There's my desk. And then I got another one of those bookcases. I'm just going to get this thing out. I got this one. <sighs> Just uh, this week, or last week, I got this one. These have been into my study for a long time. Of course, you know the CDs. And uh, yeah, I went through my CD collection. I went through and got all these storage bags. And I filled up how many stores? I think they. Each bag holds, I know I have over a couple thousand CDs. It's just insane. I still got to buy more. I think I bought eight. I think I bought 14 CD bags. And <laughs> I still got six boxes of CDs still downstairs. But I've kind of burned out on it. I did that all day yesterday and the day before. I had to go through all these boxes of CDs. Because so I told you that in this study was a lot of, I had CDs in, uh, how were they? I can't remember. Oh, they were in this huge kind of blast, plastic container with shelves. And I wanted to empty this, my study of all those, those CDs and I put them in storage down in the lower level in boxes moving boxes and then I went through them and I put them in storage bags. I, I should show you a storage bag example of what I'm talking about. The, a storage bag is what I mean is is one of these. This is a CD storage bag. I filled up eight and I have in here Four, six, eight. I have nine of these in my in my study closet, full of CDs. And uh, so, yeah, I filled those up with my CDs because I'm trying to get them in order. Now, I do keep some CDs in here in my study in these CD racks because uh, I like music even though due to uh, tinnitus in my ear, I can't hear and my hearing is going out. My hearing is getting worse as I'm getting older. But yeah, I got a new bookcase and I thought what I would do is show you what's in the bookcase. <laughs> Just because I think I showed you, I had a video of showing you, let me lower down these videos. I, I showed you what was in that other bookcase. This is the things I put in the new bookcase. The first thing, they, I, I think I showed you the other day, I, I put, I got out of the lower level this commentary on the Heidelberg Catechism by Thordoris van Groh. Two volumes, this was translated from the Dutch. He lived in the 18th century. So anyway, I won't go into all these books because they'll take forever. And I don't want to go forever. I just want to show you what's in the uh, in the bookshelf. Well, I showed you the Bollinger. I showed you those two volumes I got recently. And then Burkhoff's Systematics. This 
I had, this is the first systematics I read back in 1975. This is a new uh, edition. Uh, one of the people that I knew, one of the guys I knew at the church that we started, Messiah Independent Reformed Church, he died this year and he left a box of books and I, this was in it and I took, his name was Phil Barker. The Systematic Theology of Louis Burkhoff. This is combined edition contains a full text of Systematic Theology and the original introduction volume, introductory volume to Systematic Theology. So, remember, and then I got in here, I showed you this scripture, Genesis of Doctrine, volume one, Doctrine and Scripture in the Early Christianity by Francis M. Young. These are books I've shown recently in my videos. Uh, the Devoid of Out Meditations attributed to Bernard Caveau. I showed you this book a while back. Uh, it's the Science of Sacred Theology, completed in one volume by Emmanuel Dozorno. He was a Catholic historian, a Catholic theologian. And then, so I've, I've showed you over the years Dionysus and the Carthusian. This is volume four on the Psalms. Uh, next year, volumes five and six are supposed to come out and complete the whole set. Dionysus and Carthus Carthusian, you know, is one of my favorite medieval spiritual writers. And then I have, I brought up, these were down the lower level. So I have a whole set of the Reformation commentaries. And I don't have enough room on one shelf. So I brought them up here, the ones that, that were just laying around down the lower level. This is by, this is on Proverbs, Ecclesiastes, and the Song of Songs, edited by David C. Fank, Reformation commentaries. This is Old Testament number nine. And then came out Luke. This is volume three, Luke, Reformation Commentary, by Beth. I can't pronounce her name, but and then I think the last one that I did pre-order the one that's coming out in the spring. It's on Isaiah, but this is the last one I got. I think I think the last one I got was. This is the one on Galatians and Ephesians. I think this one came out in 2011. I think this is the one that came out recently. Let me see. Yeah, I really like the Reformation commentaries. Uh, the very, yeah, this is 2023, this one. Proverbs, Ecclesiastes, and Song of Songs. This is the newest one. Yeah, I really like them. They they first put out the Ancient Commentary series, and then they did that on the whole Bible. I have those down the lower level. I think I have one up here. Yeah, I have. I have. I keep up here. This is in the Ancient Commentary series, the, the Ancient Christian Commentary series. This is the one on the Gospel of Matthew that I keep up here, along with. The Reformation, one on the Gospel of Matthew. So then uh, I have here on the top shelf of the new bookcase, Federal Theology of Jonathan Edwards, Exegetical Perspective by Gelson Rue. I can't pronounce that name, but so. And then I showed you these. Recently, I got these at Reformation Heritage Books. Delighting in God and All His Ways, Doctrinal and Practical Meditations in Divinity by Matthew McEwen. And then The Glory and Fullness of Jesus Christ in the Most Remarkable Types, Figures, Allegories of the Old Testament by William McEwen. And then on the top shelf of the new bookcase, Biblical Reasoning, Christology and Trinitarian Rules for Exegesis by R.B. Jameson, 
and Tyler R. Whitman. Yeah, I was reading this and I wanted to finish reading it so I got it out of the lower level. And then I was reading Hermeneutic of Wisdom, Recovering Reformative Agency of Scripture by J. DeWall Dryden. Yeah, I was really enjoying this book and so I hadn't finished it. I got about 20, 30 pages left. And then this is a book I got back out to do some more reading of it. The Paradox of Sonship. Christology and the Epistle to the Hebrews by R.B. Jameson. He's the one that co-wrote this one, Biblical Reasoning. That's why I got it out. Then on the second shelf of the new bookcase, there are only three shelves. This is a new book, Dictionary of New Testament and Old Testament. Dictionary of the Di New Testament Use of the Old Testament. Edited by J. K. Beale, D. A. Carson, Benjamin Glad, and Andrew David Nasilai. This is a companion volume to this one. Commentary on the New Testament use of the Old Testament. J. K. Beale and D. A. Carson editors. This one came out first, which I highly recommend if you're in the studying the Bible. And then they just came out with the companion volume, Dictionary of the New Testament Use of the Old Testament. <laughs> and then, Jesus in Jerusalem in the Last Days by Eckhard, Eckhard J. Chabelle. I've been reading his New Testament theology. And then Chabelle's I'm going to keep his books up here, and that's why I brought them up on the lower level. Paul, the Missionary, Realities, Strategies, and Methods by Eckhart J. Chabelle. And then you have the story of the creeds and confessions, tracing developments of Christian faith by Donald Fairburn and Ryan E. Reeves. Yeah, I'm into historical the theology, development of doctrine. And then on the second shelf of the new bookcase, Evangelicals and the Nicene Faith, Reclaiming the Apostolic Witness, edited by Timothy George. These are essays on the Nicene Faith. Theology and Democracy of the Dead, A Dialogue with Living Tradition by Matt Jensen. There's chapters here on Dionysus and the Archivite, uh, on Augustine, Martin Luther, John Calvin, just looking at important theologians throughout church history. And these are the books that I had up here on Christian spirituality. This is on Biblical Spirituality, edited by Christopher W. Morgan. Sweet Communion, Tractatories of Spirituality from the Middle Ages to the Further Reformation, by, translated by James A. D. Jung. This is by Andrew D. River. Some of my favorite books on... Uh, it goes into the Dutch Puritism and how they were influenced by medieval spirituality. And then there's Union with Christ in Sp Scripture, History, and Theology by Robert Lethem. Meditation and Communion with God, Contemplating Scripture in the Age of Distraction by John Jefferson Davies. Yeah, these books are all on Christian spirituality. By Faith, Not by Sight, Paul and the Order of Salvation by Richard B. Gaffin, Jr. This is on Pauline Theology. 
This is my favorite books I read uh, this year, Pierced by Love, Divine Reading with the Christian Tradition by Hans Borsma. Yeah, I just this is one of my favorite books I read this year and uh, highly recommend it. This is The Human Condition, Anthropology and the Teachings of Jesus, Paul and John by Udell Chanel. The Spirit of Holiness, Reflections on Biblical Spirituality. Uh, editors Terry Delaney and Roger D. Duke. Let Nothing Trouble You. This is on the spirituality of Teresa of Avila. Then you have St. Thomas Aquinas, Book One, God on the Summa of the Gentiles. This is translated by Aiton C. Pigis, FRSC. And then, Lamp of Light and Lamp of Glory. This is a little devotional book. Uh, a fellow I know up north who's into the Puritans wrote is from South. This is Miser Eckert's Selected Writings. He was a, uh, lived during the 13th century in the Rhineland. He was a, a German spiritual writer and mystic. And then you have The Life of St. Teresa by, of Avila by herself. She wrote this. This is my favorite books. <coughs> this is The Cloud of Unknowing and Other Works. I have two editions of this. This is another Cloud of Unknowing translation, and this other one from my favorite spiritual books, Cloud of Unknowing, Author Unknown. Then you have another Interior Castle by St. Teresa of Avila. And then you have these books, Imitation of Christ by Thomas Campus, uh, The Fire of Love by Roll. He was a, he lived, I think, during the Middle Ages. Let me see what year he was in. Thirteen hundreds. And then you have St. Francis de Sades on the Love of God. Two volumes. I've had these for almost 50 years. <laughs> and then, on the bottom shelf, is my Jack Kerouac books. On the Road by Jack Kerouac. These were in, up here in my main study, but when I had, we had new floors put in, I took a lot of books downstairs that they couldn't fit up here. That's why I got this new bookcase so I can bring up the books that were in here that I had stacked in other places. And I, I had some Jack Kerouac books already up here, but it's not all the ones that are my favorite. And this is On the Road, the original scroll edition by Jack Kerouac. And then you have the Dharma Bums, the 50th Anniversary Edition by Jack Kerouac. This is one of my favorite Jack Kerouac books. And then there was... These two books on Jack... Beatific Soul, Jack Kerouac on the Road by Isaac Gitwitz. And then this book, The Beats. From Jack, from Kerouac to K 
Kenzie Illustrated Journey Through the Beat Generation by Mike Evans. The Beats. And, uh, and then. So, yeah, it keeps in my Jack Kerouac books up here. And then there's a biography on Jack Kerouac. The, the Voice is All the Lonely Victory of Jack Kerouac by Joyce Johnson. Joyce Johnson was, one of the, was a girlfriend of Jack Kerouac and she became a beat scholar. Joyce Johnson, this is the biography she wrote, The Voice is All. And then you have On the Road, original scroll by Jack Kerouac. A photo of him. This is a, a paperback edition. And then you have a, another edition of On the Road by Jack Kerouac. This is Deckle Edge. This is a Penguin Essential Editions. Yeah, I have many copies of On the Road by Jack Kerouac. And then you have The Subtermanians and Pick by Jack Kerouac. And then I have this book I showed you. I got this, The Love, Love is Trilogy, Colors and Mechanisms of Consumer by Ann Waldman. She's a poet, a beat scholar. There's a picture of her in the back. I keep all her books up here. Ann Waldman, she's a, because she helped start the Jack Kerouac School of Disembodied Poetics there in Boulder, Colorado. And I've been reading Civil Disobediences, Poetics and Political and Actions, edited by Ann Waldman. And then, uh, Vow to Poetry, Essays, Interviews, and Manifestos by Ann Waldman. And then I have Bard Kinetic by Ann Waldman. And then I have her poetry, Helping the Dreamer, New and Selected Poems, 1966 to 1988 by Ann Waldman. Uh, Kill or Cure, these are poems by Ann Waldman. And then I have some novels that I just bought recently. The Minkio Starnan, his novel, The House of Via Gemento, translated from Italian. I can't even pronounce the person who translated this. And then I have this book by Louis Gestapo and, and Agony and Agony. But and I'm still reading this. I got I've read how many pages? Almost five hundred and seventy. And then I have lastly this thing I want to read, The Garden of Seven Twilights by Manuel de Palo, translated by Adrian Nathan West. So yeah, these are the books I have up here in my new bookshelf. Also, I have these other books by Ann Waldman. These, no, this is by another poet, beat poet, but Ted Bergen. Sandy, say hello, letters from Ted to Sandy Bergen. And then I have the Beats at Naropia, an anthology edited by Ann Waldman and Laura Wright. Yeah, uh, William Burroughs, Ann Charters, Gregor Curso, De De Diana De, De Palma, Allen Ginsberg, 
uh, Haiti Jones, Gar Gary Snyder, Philip Waldman, a bunch of those. They were all teachers or gave lectures at Naropa. So yeah, this is going to run out. It's been 25 minutes. Just thought I'd show you the new bookcase. I showed you that and I've shown you in the past the other bookcases in here. Uh, CD collection and uh, so I know this is kind of crazy but this is how I do it spontaneously. I hope you're having a good Sunday. This is Sunday December the 24th 2023 is 9 1099 10:49 in the morning here in West Michigan in the Hermit Hut Sunday my wife went to church and I've been reading besides Christian books I've been reading Francis Bacon the very famous modernist painter Enigma Anatomy of Enigma by Philip Pentaplat. I can't pronounce that name, but I've been reading this last couple of days along with Christian books. Uh, this morning I've been reading The Humbled Sinner Resolve What He Should Do to Be Saved by Obadiah Sidwick. So there you go. I hope you're all doing well. This is going to run late. I hope you're all having a good weekend, a good Sunday. Have a good Christmas Eve. Have a blessed Christmas. Remember that Jesus was born to die on the cross for sinners that we might have eternal life. That we pray to the Holy Spirit for the gift of faith, a heart of repentance. And may we be found seeking the Lord, looking for his soon return. So once again, I hope you're all doing well. This is the new bookcase. And yeah, so I'll just sign off. And until next time, bye.